Hello, welcome to our channel and in this lecture we are going to discuss about atomic models. Okay, in the last lecture we have discussed about uh, uh, atomic number, isotopes, isoelectronics and so on. So now the topic is atomic models. Okay, now let us start about our discussion. So atomic models. So what is meant by atomic models? Atomic models means these are the few propositions by the, these are few models proposed by the scientists so that to explain about the structure of the atom okay so there are different types of the atomic model so especially Democritus and Lucifer's next is the Dalton's model of atom plum pudding model nuclear model and Bohr's model so these are the different types of the atomic models proposed by scientists to explain about the structure of the atom okay now see the first see Democritus and Lucifer's model okay here in this we can see any subject according to them they belongs to the fifth and fourth centuries okay and according to them any substance can be cut up to the atomic level only it means according to them any substance cannot be cut beyond the atomic level okay up to atomic level only so this is about Democritus and also Lucifer's model so according to them atomos means uncuttable it means it cannot be broken down but actually you can cut the atom or you can uh, extract the substance from the atom it means you can see electrons okay and also protons and so on these are the subatomic particles so by using some different kinds of methods so that they will they will get exchanged for example electrons will move from one atom to another atom during the formation of chemical bonds and so on so so this model they will not explain properly about the structure of the atom okay next is the Dalton's model of the atom so it is about in the year 1808 okay according to them according to the Dalton the matter consists of indiv indivisible atoms so it means atoms cannot be divided okay the atoms arrange in different combinations to make different components for example sodium and uh, sodium will combine with the chlorine to form a sodium chloride and or uh, carbon dioxide with oxygen to form a carbon dioxide and so on so these are the different different uh, molecules that can be made by joining of the atom similar or dissimilar atoms so similar atoms like oxygen plus oxygen that is nothing but O2 oxygen plus carbon dioxide okay CO2 so these are similar atoms so these all are these are non similar atoms so in this way they will form okay so next is a plum pudding model so it is about in the year 1904 so proposed by the John Joseph John Thompson and he proposed a plum pudding model so according to this model he discovered that first of all let us discuss uh, some few points about this model so he discovered that the atoms have the electrons so in the previous classes also we have discussed about the electrons electrons are the subatomic particles they have the negative charge okay so he said that the, he discovered the atoms have the electrons here you can see atoms have the electrons so electrons are much smaller than the atom according to this model electrons are much smaller than the atom so it is true okay if you compare the size of the atom uh, with the electrons or the size of the electrons with the uh, size of the protons and neutrons the size of the electrons is much much smaller okay so according to him the electrons are located all around the model okay so here you can here you can compare this model with watermelon if you see the watermelon the seeds are scattered everywhere in the uh, watermelon fruit okay so by this way in the same way here also you can see the electrons are completely scattered they are present everywhere everywhere around the atom so according to this model electrons are located all around the atom okay so and negatively charged electrons are balanced by the positively charged particles here you can see the negatively charged electrons are balanced by the positively charged protons so he not said about the particular thing is a proton but he said positively charged particle so obviously the positive positively charged particles are nothing but the protons so hence the atom is electrically neutral why because according to him according to the jo joseph john thompson they are balanced the negatively charged particles are balanced by the positively positively charged particles okay hence the atom is electrically neutral according to the plum pudding model okay and uh, let us discuss the next topic that is nuclear model so in the year 1911 so ernest rutherford proposed the nuclear model so what uh, what is the new thing in this model so according to this model the positively charged particles are concentrated in the center of atom known as nucleus 
So in the last previous lessons we have discussed about the structure of the atom that is the protons and neutrons present in the center of the atom that is in the nucleus okay. Here this model is also saying the same thing the positively charged particles are concentrated it means they are located in the center of the atom known as the nucleus. So he said that this is the nucleus and the protons are or positively charged particles are present in it okay and electrons are randomly distributed around the nucleus same as the plum pudding model he also said the electrons are randomly distributed all over the all around the atom or all over the atom so this is also not perfect explanation of the structure of the atom okay now let us move to another model this another model is known as bohr's model in the year 1913 niels bohr discovered the bohr's model of an atom so according to him the electrons spin around the nucleus in circular paths known as orbits here you, here you can see unlike uh, uh, unlike uh, plum pudding model and also previous model so uh, what he said this uh, niels bohr said the neutron the atom has the neutrons in the center and around it around it you can see the circular paths so he called he called them as orbits orbits means the circular paths around the nucleus that is known as orbits and also along with uh, along with this he said that the electrons are going to spin or they are going to move in a circular paths that is present uh, around the atom or uh, that is present uh, that is present around the nucleus okay this is he numbered it as k l m and so on so hence you can call it as energy shells energy shells means these are the uh, circular paths like structure around the nucleus in the atom okay so next model is quantum mechanical model so in this model erwin schrodinger he proposed the quantum mechanical model so he said that the electrons do not move in a specific orbits but they move in 3d space around the nucleus it means here you can see he said he, the electrons are going to revolve or move around in a circular path but it is not true and uh, that the real thing is these electrons are going to move in a three dimensional space around the nucleus that is known as electron cloud so the electron can move in any direction okay in this way and this electron cloud move in this way that is known as three dimensional paths okay depending upon the movement of the electrons we will get a, a shapes of the orbitals how the electron is moving in this way dumbbell shape or in this way or circular or whatever it may be that we will discuss in the next coming lessons okay the electrons are located in the orbits final location of the electrons so orbital so or what is meant by orbital orbital means the finding of the electrons is maximum in this regions or you can define the definition of the orbital is orbital is a three dimensional orbitals is a three dimensional space where the finding of electrons is maximum okay you can find maximum maximum number of electrons in the orbitals okay so hence you can call it as the final locations of the electron and they are going to move in 3d shapes what is 3d shapes any shape they may move here anywhere any in the any shapes whether it may be dumbbell shape or a double dumbbell or circular or whatever it may be and just now as, as i said we are going to discuss all these shapes of the orbitals in coming lessons okay the orbitals has the shapes example s p d f and so on okay the nucleus uh, the nucleus consists of protons and also neutrons so that is known as nucleus so the presence of protons and neutrons in the center that is known as nucleus here you can see the nucleus the protons are indicated with a red color and the neutrons are indicated with a green color so around it there is a structure that is known as these all are present in the structure that is known as nucleus okay so the nucleus consists of protons and neutrons the protons were discovered by the ernest rutherford in the year 1919 and uh, neutrons were discovered by the james chadwick okay so next is this is the thing that we have discussed about the uh, atomic models i hope this lecture is helpful to you and also you can subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon and uh, don't forget to like share and comment so with the help of your comment uh, we will we can improve a lot in providing uh, even more better educational content okay and we will discuss next topic in the next lesson okay